Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here in today's video we'll be taking a look at the best settings of the game hub windows emulator for android devices including for low end android devices with only 4 to 6 gb of ram and even mali gpu devices so before getting started make sure that you have updated to the latest version of the game hub emulator which is currently 5.1.0 because this update of game hub emulator has new translation parameters and also has new settings that will definitely improve your performance now before getting started i want to tell you something very important game hub windows emulator is only optimized for snapdragon processors especially below 8 gen 3 processors so if you have incompatible devices with mali gpu let's say like let's say with dimensity processor or exynos processor you will get less fps even if you have a flagship device compared to that of snapdragon even the device which i have right here after the latest game of emulator 5.1.0 the performance has decreased by a lot even on snapdragon 8 elite game of 5.1.0 has less performance than the game of emulator let's say like 5.0 or the 4.0 one versions previously and hence why for today's video i'll be using my samsung galaxy tab s9 ultra which has a snapdragon 8 gen 2 processor so to get started you'll need to import any pc game of your choice for example today's video i'll be going with grand theft auto 5 now when you open the game settings in the game hub emulator 5.1.0 you will see brand new features such as disable window manager disable graphic enhancement plugin and so on i'll try my best to explain all of these settings one by one the first thing is that game resolution this matters quite a lot the more you decrease the game resolution the better your performance will be doesn't matter what device you are using no one wants a laggy gameplay experience so make sure to set the display resolution as either 800 by 600 or 960 by 544p 720p resolutions is only recommended for flagship android devices like the realme gt7 pro in terms of compatibility layer the best performance that you will get is in the proton 10.0 arm 64x2 it is very optimized for the game of windows emulator for android in terms of translation parameters you have a brand new translation parameter known as extreme now this extreme parameter will make sure that you get the best and maximum amount of performance possible it is even better than the performance parameter that is pre-available inside the game hub emulator you only get this extreme parameter in the newest versions of game hub emulator but do note that with extreme translation parameters you are sure to face graphical issues in few games if you don't have a supported graphics driver i'll talk more about it later on in this video and you also get option for choosing the d input library set it to prefer native if you are using d input for example mouse and keyboard you can also enable skip audio and video decode if you are facing compatibility issues while there are some animations in the game for example black screen well you don't generally face this with snapdragon processor android devices you rarely ever face it so make sure to keep this option disabled in terms of gpu driver this is the most important stuff you'll need to use the latest snapdragon graphics driver which is the 25.3.0 turnip so here you guys can see i have selected the turnip 25.3.0 revision 7 now at the time of your watching you might have a new turnip graphics driver but for mali gpu android devices so processor like mediatek exynos or kirin go with the system graphics driver but do note that game hub is only best supported with performance and graphics for devices which have turnip graphics driver support so if you don't have turnip graphics driver you cannot really emulate lot of pc titles without facing graphical issues or low fps in terms of surface format make sure to set it to rgba 8 audio driver should be pulse audio now this is also very important in terms of dxvk version go with dxvk 2.6.1 asynchronous which is actually stable dxvk wrapper in terms of vkd 3d version go with the vk d3d proton 2.14.1 this is necessary if you are trying to emulate games such as the marvel spider-man remastered one or two or even uh, spider-man miles morales it will work because of this vkd 3d version in terms of cpu translator make sure to set it as the fix 2025 september 10th latest build whatever will be the latest cpu translator you will need to set that and in terms of vram limit it will be by default no limit you will need to change it and set it to 4 gb for best optimized compatibility once that has been done you can go to the component section where if you are facing for example microsoft visual C++ error when you try launching a game you can easily fix that by going into the component section and here making sure to add the VC Redis 2022. Now this is important for games such as Dragon Ball Sparking Zero or any brand new game which has released in the recent years even Poppy Playtime Chapter 4 etc they all need Microsoft Visual C++ latest version so you'll need to set up Microsoft VC Redis 2022 inside the component section first and then only your games will work. Other than that you also get touch control features where you can enable the on-screen touch controls and you can choose between multiple touch controls. By default this is the 
normal touch controls which is xbox style a gamepad layout but you also get another on-screen touch controls format which is the keyboard and mouse on-screen touch controls profile so for some games if you require keyboard and mouse on-screen touch controls profile for example let's say ch2 which you might try emulating from steam you'll get the keyboard touch controls which make it easier to emulate your favorite pc games on your android device so here we'll just cut and exit this and we'll use the default on-screen touch control layout once that has been done you have the developer options menu which you can ignore there is nothing special in it and after applying all the best settings we still have few more best settings to go that i'll show once you actually launch the game there are two types of more settings which you can apply for better performance so if we swipe back you will see a lot of options and if we go to performance section here make sure to set the native rendering to disabled or else you will face graphical issues this is very important native rendering should be disabled you will also face less performance if this option is enabled so here we go as you guys can see our game is about to start Make sure to also enable full screen mode for your game to work in full screen. You can also disable frame limit if you want to get more than 60 fps but it's generally not recommended. This graphical issue which you are seeing right now is because I had previously used a graphics mode pack on this version of GTA 5 on the GTA 5 that is available in this tablet. That's the only reason why you are seeing some flickering issues here and there. I had added a Quant V as well as Niagara graphics mode inside my GTA 5 and that's why whenever it is compiling shaders you will see graphical issues like this but here we go at the top left corner you guys can see we are getting almost 80 fps while emulating gta 5 on our android device and ignore the shuttering issues guys it's not the fault of game hub emulator it is the fault of the graphics pack that i had added previously in my gta 5 well you can see at the top left corner we are getting about 45 fps right now 45 to 50 fps but don't forget guys the normal best settings of the game hub emulator are not the only settings that you can change to get the best performance for example in any game that you are trying to play there will be a graphic section so here make sure to set the resolution as low as possible which is by default 800 by 600 in any game that you are trying to play refresh rate should be according to your device specifications other than that vsync make sure to turn it off and in terms of graphic settings make sure to set everything to normal graphics now if i change it to very high graphics that means we'll also get less fps so here i have set everything to very high i'll simply restart the game and then let's find out if a graphical issue stop so guys even after applying the very high graphics preset you will be able to see our shuttering issue has not been fixed so it's definitely because of the graphics mod pack which i had previously added inside my gta 5 which is not being rendered properly right now that's why the shaders are glitchy and stuff but you will immediately notice that we are only getting about 35 fps now instead of the previous 50 to 60 fps that we were getting in open world areas so you can notice a huge difference immediately it doesn't matter if you apply the best settings of game hub emulator if you don't change the in-game settings then you will indeed get low performance so every pc game has its own graphics settings make sure to turn it down and set it to the lowest setting possible like i had done with my gta 5 by default it will be on high graphics and if it is on high graphics you'll get about 20 to 50 percent less performance than what the game hub emulator is capable of giving you so those are all the best tips and tricks as well as the best settings for the game hub windows emulator for android if you enjoyed this video and find it helpful with your own games then make sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification and once again don't forget to decrease the graphics quality of your game from the in-game settings as well i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching goodbye